and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Good afternoon, I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, it's been another rainy and nasty day, but without the severe weather so far. Now all eyes are on Hurricane Helene and what that storm could mean for us later this week. It's still a first alert weather day. Meteorologist Eric Dean joins us now with the latest. Eric. All right, that's right, Steve. We are seeing a lot of rain across portions of eastern Kentucky and it's a little bit of good news, a little bit of not so good news. The good news is we really need this as we are in uh, abnormally dry conditions, some places in a drought. The bad news is too much of a good thing can result in a not so good thing, which some places are under a flood watch right now. There's the latest with live pinpoint Doppler radar and we'll go ahead and pinpoint a couple of locations over towards the Pikeville area and just south of Pikeville seeing some heavy rain at this time. The good news, no lightning is being picked up at this time. This is simply just some heavy, heavy rain falling at this hour. Uh, and then we go into our Virginia counties. You can see some heavy rain being picked up as well. There's Jackson. Jackson seeing rain, uh, heavy rain to the north of London, heavy rain over towards the Monticello area. So there's part one of the equation. This is part two, and it's in the form of the flood watch in effect for the counties shaded in green. So Buchanan County, Dickinson, Wise, Lee County in Virginia, and Claiborne County is now under a flood watch until Friday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, this is something we're going to be monitoring as we go into the next several, several hours. And you can see right now in Hazard, it's still coming down. You can see as we take a look here at our camera, it's still raining and temperatures right now, very cool. This is rain cooled. Temperatures in the 60s and 70s, so well, well below normal. Now the question is, how long will the rain chances last? I'll have the answer in the first alert forecast in a few minutes. Steve. All right, Eric, thank you very much, and we'll have much more on Hurricane Helene and where it's going in the next half hour. An update today, nearly one week after District Judge Kevin Mullins was shot and killed in the Letcher County Courthouse. Sheriff Mickey Steins is in jail, charged with his murder. His arraignment was this morning virtually, and he entered a not guilty plea. WYMT's Amelia Lee joins us now live in downtown Whitesburg with more on that arraignment. Amelia. Steve, as you said, that arraignment was virtual this morning, and there were multiple people who were present. That includes Jackie Steele. He is the Commonwealth's attorney on this case, as well as Sheriff Mickey Steins also appeared virtually. But the judge was in person in Carter County. Now the arraignment started off with the judge reading out Steins' Miranda rights. Then it went into what Steins was charged with. When asked what he pled, in regards to the charge of first degree murder, Steins pleaded not guilty. Now this means he's going to have a preliminary hearing. This has already been set for October 1st at one in the afternoon in West Liberty. And I was able to speak with that Commonwealth attorney, Jackie Steele, after the arraignment. And Steele says it's actually very typical for someone to plead not guilty for a murder charge at an arraignment. Well, I'm gonna say 100% of the time, uh, even if he tried to plead guilty today, the district judge, uh, our special judge today, would not have accepted it because you can't plead guilty in district court to felony offense. During the arraignment, the topic of a public defender also came up and when asked if Steins had one, he said he's been having some difficulty finding someone to take his case and that's because of where he is right now in the Leslie County Jail. So next, the topic of his salary came up and Steins said he makes $115,000 a year as the sheriff of Letcher County, but they're unsure of really how long he'll be sheriff for. So in the meantime, the judge did say that he will be providing a public defender for Steins during the preliminary hearing, but he says that that would be very costly as they continue with this capital charge. In Letcher County, Amelia Lee, WYMT, Mountain News. Amelia, you may or may not know the answer to this. Any discussion about bail today, whether there will be any type of uh, bond set? Well, we did ask Jackie Steele earlier today during the interview. He doesn't know what the bail is. That's not been announced at this time. All right. Of course, we'll continue to follow it closely. Thank you very much, Amelia, and we'll have more tonight at 6. Now, normally, this case would be heard by the district judge in the county where it happened. In this case, it would have been Judge Kevin Mullins. 
Because of this, a special judge took over for today and coming up tonight at 6. Again, we'll have more from the virtual arraignment. A man is in custody after an improvised explosive device was detonated at a California courthouse this morning. Police confirmed there were two reports of non-life-threatening injuries at the scene and one person of interest was detained immediately, but the scene remains active. Nearby buildings were evacuated as a result. Several offices were also closed after the explosion. A motive has not been released. This morning, the Harlan County Fiscal Court signed a partnership to bring high-speed internet to underserved areas in the county. WYMT's Austin Hicks reports on the deal the impact will have. Judge Executive Dan Mosley in the Harlan County Fiscal Court signed a contract with Harlan Community Television to launch a broadband community expansion project. The project is part of the Broadband as a Service initiative that helps bring internet to underserved communities. The Appalachian Regional Commission gave a $1.9 million grant to expedite the process. With the increase in local businesses and people in Harlan County, Judge Executive Dan Mosley says it is imperative that people have access to high-speed internet. At the end of the day, it's all about how do we improve quality of life, how do we get that service to citizens to be able to, to improve that quality of life, and, and, and that's what this project is going to do uh, as we move forward with a local provider. Another contract is in the works to bring more high-speed internet to other parts of Harlan County. In Harlan, Austin Hicks, WYMT Mountain News. Tonight at 6 here, how the county is using a local company to complete the project. Many students across the country gathered around flagpoles this morning before classes. See you at the poll gives students the option to join their peers in prayer. The goal is to take a moment to pray for community, country, and the world. At Perry County Central High School, students met at the poll at 8 this morning. We had a student that it was actually the CU at the poll day, um, and he came up and he was like, hey, do you care to kind of sponsor us with this at break? We used to have break then, and I was like, yeah, sure. And then after that, um, he just kind of wanted to continue that. Many of the students are part of the school's prayer club and meet for prayer each morning. Coming up on First at Four, how one community is rallying.